Mohammed, let's go back to the days of PIMCO. You're on the investor committee, you're leading the firm, you're sitting around the table, and this one drops across the Bloomberg terminal. What on earth do you say? What on earth do you do? First, I would say I don't know why this has happened. I would be exactly like Mike McKee. I would be putting out different hypotheses. It could be that growth has really picked up and employment has really picked up, but that is inconsistent with virtually every single other data point we have, including continuing claims. Or it could be data compilation issues or the impact of government policies. Having said that, I would say what matters is what the market sees, and the market has taken this as confirmation of the better growth hypotheses. We're seeing major moves across the board. Um, look what's happening, in, not just in stock futures, but the yield curve. Um, the front end of the yield curve is moving as well as the long end, which has been the story of the best steepener. So, you know, the markets are not waiting. They are taking this as confirmation of them being ahead of everybody else. And that growth is picking up in the U.S. economy. And the worst is not just behind us, but this looks more like a V. I have my doubts, but you've got to respect how the market sees it. Well, Mohammed, let's talk about how The Economist in you sees things. As you've pointed out, hardly any of the other data points confirm this improvement. The survey week was ending the middle of May. Hardly anything could reopen, and yet we see this substantial improvement. I do want to talk about risk, and I don't want to get away with the happy talk too much. We're all encouraged by this, and we hope it continues in a big way. We all do, sincerely. The risk of extrapolating this improvement out too far, too quickly. Can you speak to that, Mohammed? So the risk is that this is an aberration and that the economy isn't picking up that quickly and that the recovery will be more like a check mark, long and slow, as opposed to a sharp V. That's the, that's the first major risk. The second major risk is that this may encourage the Fed to be less supportive of markets. Already the markets were sensing that a little bit in the Treasury market, and you saw what's been happening to treasuries, um, there was this notion that treasuries are no longer a good hedge, that if you really want to hedge yourself, you should go to short-dated corporates. Um, if to the extent that the Fed feels that its job is done, that is the second risk. And then the third risk is that the urgency for stimulus um, goes out the window. The people think you don't need any more relief. The market is doing the, the heavy lifting for you. The economy is doing the heavy lifting for you. Governments need, no longer need to worry about relief or stimulus. Those are the three risks, and I think we have to monitor them. But, John, it's important to stress that we don't have a good explanation for this drops report.